One of the largest benefits of using Next.js is page loading performance. However, when you compare it to other frameworks, such as Astro, that focuses on statically rendering your content with as little JavaScript as possible, you may not be able to get the same load times and web vitals. Unlike Astro, however, with client-side routing, image optimization, self-hosted font support, and many other features, we can create a fast user experience within Next.js that is none other if we are proactive about making speed a large priority. So in this tutorial series, we are going to go over all the applicable steps you can take when building your Next.js application to ensure that speed is at the forefront of everything you do. So let's go over some applicable steps you can take to ensure that your Next.js site is as fast as possible. So in order for us to get that perfect 100% performance lighthouse score that we all want for our websites, we have to use some of these tools that you see here within the Next and NPM ecosystem to help get there. So to start, we have the built-in image component. And the image component builds off the regular IMG tag that you get in HTML. However, it gives us a few more features. Firstly, it gives us size optimization. So it means that we can pull the exact size we want for the device that we are rendering it on, as well as it gives us visual stability. It'll help us you know, prevent some layout shift when an image comes in. And all of this will result in some faster page loading times and better web vitals. We also have the built-in script component that ships with Next.js. And this component allows us to use it within our underscore app.js file in the pages directory or our root layout file in the app directory and it helps us load scripts that need to be loaded on every page except it only loads them once but really helps us lower our load times especially when we're navigating between pages. One thing we're going to use a lot within this series is also the next bundle analyzer. This allows us, when we run our npm run build command, we can get a visual UI within the browser that shows all the bundles of JavaScript that will be shipped out to the client with the application. This will allow us to find any very large bundles that we might not be using and get rid of them to increase our page speed. Next dynamic and dynamic imports will help us in terms of if we want to import our components dynamically when we need them, we can use the next dynamic package that also ships right with next, as well as we can also use dynamic imports for things such as our node modules that we want to import on the fly when we need them, as opposed to with a page, for example. This is very beneficial for getting your web vitals a lot higher. We also have the next font package what will allow for us to self-host our fonts, meaning that we don't have to reach out to Google or some other font provider in order to load our pages content. We also have the NPM bundle size package, what allows for us to essentially set a budget for how large we want our bundles to be in kilobytes as well as we're going to use the Lighthouse and UnLighthouse scores to measure our page performance within this series. So that's really all I have for you guys for now. In the next one, we're going to go over the image and script component and see how those work. I also just want to add on that this series is not for the beginner developer in mind. If you're trying to optimize your next project for speed, you're probably not a beginner. However, I'm not going to go over any of the mundane beginner things that we need to know. For example, if we need an NPM package, I'm just going to install it on my machine. I'm not going to take you through how to do that. So yeah, that's all. Please subscribe if you like this content. It really helps out. And yeah, have a good one.